Hello Power Users, so in today's episode we will be looking at the icons and how to create a, a conditional icon. So depending on value of the gallery of the table, we want this icon to be either a check or a cancel. And this is uh, possible to achieve. Or also we want this color to be conditional. So I have my gallery and in this gallery I have board games and I'm I'm having the column which uh, checks if the board game is easy or not. So if it's easy, I want to have the check mark, and if not, I want to have a cancel, and I want to also change the color of this icon depending on the value. So how to achieve it? Let's go from the start. You want to insert, of course, the icons. And let's find the check mark in here. Okay, we have a check mark. So this, and this is already an icon with what's the problem? No, we won't, don't want to select parent. We want to go to the icon property. And now we want, as you see, this check is the standard icon. So we have the icon function in front of it, we want this to be conditional. So if, if this item, because I'm in the context of this item, of course, dot, and we have our, our column, which is easy. If this easy is, is uh, true, because this is a Boolean value, then I want to in, have this icon as a check. Let's see how this works. Okay, those check marks are there. But if it's not, then the other condition should apply. My icon should be cancel because this is also a standard icon. As you can see, you already see that those icons are created. So we have we are in uh, in half half the uh, of the way into the our problem and now let's change the the color to white so this disappear and the fill property hmm, cannot find it here let's go to the fill property fill property and let's see let's apply the same condition so if this icon is item dot easy up then now we are working with the color, so we will have the green color for, for OK and red color for cancel. And this is it. This is how you can create conditional icons depending on your conditional. You can use it in many situations. This is the probably the, uh, the most common situation in which you will use those icons, but you are free to set conditional icons on the same control instead of just creating multiple controls in your galleries. Hope that will help you. And if yes, you can of course sub, like, etc. I have many other videos on Power Platform. And in the next video, we'll look how to make this, uh, this icon circular because this is also a case and this is not that easy. So we will just tweak this a little bit to make it more fun for the user. See you, Zbigniew Pukowski out.